Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we will be covering topic called Gantt chart. How to create that in MS Excel? Very simple steps, okay. Uh, if in case you already well versed about the MS Excel, there are numerous templates about Gantt chart, right? But uh, sometimes, right, whenever we are trying to leverage those and basis our requirement, when we use those, uh, requirement is not really fulfilled. Okay, so that's what that's what know. in a very simple steps guide, you know, I'm creating this MS Excel Gantt chart video series for you guys. Okay, so you can understand how Gantt, Gantt chart work and accordingly you can create basis your requirement. Cool. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we begin, just wanted to keep this expectation set. This entire series would be for a beginner guide. If in case you are already proficient in a, in MS Excel, please disregard me on that part. Yeah. We'll just click on this option called start button and then we'll click on this MS Excel. As soon as you hit a MS Excel, you could see this uh, screen available in your window, which is new. And then you need to click on this blank workbook. As soon as you hit a blank workbook, this is the spreadsheet you could see, right? And the workbook area where you are working with this entire activities, which you are going to add it, right? These are the ribbons on the top, which will be uh, help us to add a formatting in it, right? Change the font color, change the font family, right? These are the font family and the size you know font size increase font size decrease color so and so forth so we'll go stepwise okay because uh, we want to create this entire series for on a beginner scale and very simple and very at a layman terms right very simple gantt chart we are creating over here cool so this is the cell where we are working with which cell means the combination of column and row this is the cell cool so now i'll click on this option called a1 which is this okay i'll type task i need this activities over here to write it down start date i'll say start date and then i'll say days of complete okay and uh, i'll say task one task two task three so and so forth okay so what i'll do i'll just select this and then I'll just drag it down little until 20 entries cool and i'll say project start date for me um i'll press on control and then this semicolon option okay this is how it looks like for me and it's fetching the current date and then I'll say one one twenty four and enter. I'll click on this option again. Here is an option called font. Okay. And then in the numbers, we'll select this option custom. We'll say date and month because we don't want a year. Cool. And then we'll just drag it down. Now you could see the month is there okay uh, month has not yet changed so what you need to do simply just say one over here and then say two three if in case a date is there and uh, you just want to change the month you can do it i'll keep it date likewise whatever date is available over there i'll just keep it as is five i'll say five just in a random again uh, data set for our reference folks okay um those kind of thing i'm doing it right now six i'll say instead of six i'll say 16 okay and uh, six i'll say 27 and this would be for me just seven likewise you can change it for your 
preference folks okay and then I think this is pretty much enough okay so I'll just what I'll do I'll just select this one one is fine for me so I'll just say 18 one changing the you know a random data set again dummy one okay you can just keep it I on basis your requirement folks okay mm, and then three cool so we'll keep this entry until uh, task 10 okay I don't want much details so I'll just remove this days to complete I'll say I, I use this formula called rand between okay because I don't want to manually go and type this number so that's what I'm not top 20 and then what is the use of this rand between so basically it's randomly numbers will fetched okay it's not like that you know uh, this is the accurate data okay this is just a demo specific we are using this rand between option okay and then what I'll do I just select this again copy this control alt V and values cool so now I have this dummy data available with me great now what you need to do you just need to adjust this select this from column adjust this like this select it bold cool so this is how beautiful data we have plotted so far now what you need to do simply just just uh, click on the option called insert here is a option chart section these are the chart section we have multiple charts you need to click on this option here are 2d bar 3d bar okay I'll just say 3d stack you can you know either choose 2d bar or maybe 3d bar I'll select this uh, 3d bar option okay because for the uh, interactive how interactive I can create it okay so that's the reason I've just selected this you can option or you can just directly click on this option select data okay or otherwise if in case you can't see this option select data just click right click select data okay same way you can refer this details cool now we need to click on this option first it's saying select you know which is a chart data range right so we are not directly selecting over here we just need to click on this option which is add right and then as soon as you hit a button called add you can directly select this start date option okay and then here you just need to click on backspace first and then just select this entire dates and then okay cool hit okay again you could see this dates has been plotted automatically right so so far what we have did I'll just give you the overall idea once again before we you know go to the next step what we have did we just plotted the data over here okay you can uh, change this task name as well basis your requirement that you know data collation right so so on so POC will work on that particular file right those particular activities you can add in the task segment right? start date you can add your start date on which particular day that particular person okay will pick that up the topic right so you can just add that start date days to be completed okay what how many days uh, would require for that activity right so those activity you can those numbers you can definitely add over here cool and then what we have did we just click on this option insert there is an option called insert chart insert chart right so we just click on this option and then there is an option is uh, 3d bar so we just click over here and then we just insert it cool this is what the uh, summary what I have given so far right now the second step uh, what you need to do select this again click on this option called chart design select data once again again add once again days to be completed series to be value and insert this hit ok cool now in this days to be completed click on this option called edit 
and select this entire levels which means this task related activities will automatically get added over here cool and then hit ok hit ok so this is how it looks like for now now what you need to do simply click this option chart element there is an option called grid line right click on this horizontal and then uh, just turn off this option called vertical horizontal lines you could see this available over here right and then you just stretch it so you can see it very well right now you could see this there is a variation bit right the task one is at the bottom and two three likewise okay so that what you need to do just select over here right click click on this option called format axis okay as soon as you hit the button format axis you could see this option format axis just need to click on this option categories in reverse order so your task one will be on the top task two second task three third fourth and likewise cool so this is how it looks like now now just click on this option which is a blue button and then click this fill and then say no fill great and then you could see this uh, beautiful chart available right now okay and then you can just stretch it basis your requirement here you can see uh, this charts are available right and this task basis the task this plotted data uh, as per the dates you could see available correct now what you need to do simply uh, just click on this option the dates dates now you could see this uh, dates are vary right uh, we need start date from one uh, chan right for that what you need to do simply just right click once again format axis this number needs to be changed now this number means a dates okay basically now how it works let me just quickly show you that as well you what you need to do just need to copy this and paste it over here okay and convert into the number now you could see this 452 nine two just copy this okay click on this option again and then paste it over here hit enter you could see date is starting from first of chan right so this is how uh, you can create your own grand chart folks okay this is the status uh, report you could see and then basis your task um, you will get the result available suppose you are collecting a data over here suppose I'm just adding data collection call with the respective stakeholder cool and then uh, final sign off so for that final sign off, I believe uh, we should have a date, um, which means 7th. So I'll say, again, it's in a random data, folks. Okay, so that's what to know. Mm, we are just playing with this data. Okay, but as soon as uh, you have this list available of task, right? This is your project requirement. You can definitely create that. And... Uh, you can play around with this data now the last thing you know uh, to make this more interactive what you need to do just press ctrl x okay click new worksheet uh, and then just click on this option paste it over here in the new worksheet click on this option view just turn off this grid lines okay and then click this again chart design there are numerous option color design but here is the thing quick layout there is a numerous opportunities to see with right so you can just click here and see 
how it looks like and what type of gun chart you can prefer to showcase your leadership or maybe wherever you are currently working with right and you can accordingly choose it and share with them accordingly cool i'll keep it as is okay and then i'll select this option i'll say this color once again i'll just once again uh, remove this no fill cool so this is how beautifully you can create your own uh, can chart folks okay so title over here okay for project discover talent cool so hey if in case you know you want to uh, convert this uh, your entire chart can chart into the buttons form you can do that as well okay how to do that okay let me just click on this option and then just select this data set press ctrl t and then just convert into the table as soon as you hit a convert uh, to the table this design table design ribbon will open right simply click on this option insert slicer and then task start date you can just insert it okay and then control x just paste it over here and then again control x paste it over here click on this slicer once again uh, just divide into three segment click this again two three basis uh, your requirement basis your adjustment basically you can play around with your data okay and then just click on this option once again slicer okay and just uh, change the design over here cool so this is how beautifully you can create your um, Gantt chart for your project and uh, when you click on this option task okay it's automatically get filtered cool so suppose you just want to check the task one and two okay you can just compare that how much delay has been done okay final sign off and from task nine you can just check that too and uh, basically on real time basis you can check the comparison for your tasks okay uh, just changing with the just playing with the data cool so this is how more interactive again chat uh, you can create very simple way okay in ms excel there's no need to buy any costly templates from outside microsoft itself right there are in built templates available if in case it's not really suitable for you guys feel free to create this simple can chat template for you guys okay Once hit again, on uh, my discover talent channel because we create videos on project management data enthusiast and more accelerated tips and tricks okay